Hey guys, this is official Creo, and today I've got my first tutorial on this channel. I'm pretty much gonna show you how to make this text that I have in my background. So, um, first I just want to mention that the reason why I haven't been posting any videos for the last couple of weeks is because um, I was doing all of my work on a laptop I got through my school. But since school year is over for me now, I had to return that computer, so I pretty much have been out, uh, been without a computer for uh yeah as I said the last couple of weeks so but now I dug up my old PC and got Cinema 4D and Photoshop installed so uh, now we'll be able to post videos again so I'm looking forward to that but yeah let's get started so uh, in the description I have included a Lightroom that I like to use and I highly recommend you to use this as well it is made by Era if that's how you pronounce it and um, yeah um, I don't want to take credit for for this Lightroom so uh, because it's not made by me as I said so you should go check him out uh, he has a great channel uh, with some cool videos and um, yeah so I did modify this uh, Lightroom a little bit like with the render settings and uh, I also deleted the text so that we can make our own one so if you already have this Lightroom I still recommend you to download this one so uh, because then it will be easier for you to follow the tutorial but yeah, let's get started. So uh, we're going to start off by adding a text object and uh, we're going to align it in the middle. And um, the font that I, uh, I'm going to be using, um, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. You can just see in the description. Uh, I'll leave a link for it there so you can download it as well if you want to. Um, so uh, we want the uh, the text to be pretty small, so we're gonna make it smaller. But uh, we still want the depth to be at 20 because we want the text to be pretty thin. So this is pretty good. Uh, the height at, ar at around uh, 130, something like that. And then you want to go to caps and uh, add a fillet cap with a radius of two and uh, you want to change the fillet type to uh, one step and you want to uncheck hull inwards so uh, this will give us a pretty nice effect, I'm just going to show you real quick I don't know if you can see but it will, be, it will make the text look like this and uh, yeah it's pretty cool so once you've done that, what you want to do is uh, you want to go to this uh, gray material down here and you want to hold control and click and drag it to the right. So make sure that you hold control because that will create a copy of that material. So you want to go to one of the materials and change the color to whatever color you prefer. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with orange. And uh, yeah then you wanna apply these two materials to the text and you wanna, you wanna make sure that you start with the gray material and then you go ahead with the orange material so up here you wanna select the orange material so just click it right here and then uh, on the selection tab you wanna type in C1 with the capital C so it looks like this and uh, this will pretty much apply the orange material to the front and the gray material to the, si to the side of the text. So once you've done that, what you want to do is uh, you want to copy this text twice so that you have three text objects. And uh, you pretty much do the same thing. You hold control and then you click and drag it down like this. and uh, so once you have three text objects what you want to do is you want to click this icon right here in the top right corner and this will enable us to look at the text at a few different views or perspectives and um, so what you want to do now is you want to make sure that you you want to look at the either the top view or the right view I'm just gonna go with the top view so you want to make sure that you uh, line up the text behind each other so just move one of them back and then move another one back a little further so you sort of line them up like this and uh, if you go back to the main perspective 
or main view, whatever it's called, it should look something like this. Okay, so uh, now we're almost done. Uh, what you gotta do now is you gotta select all of the text objects. So just click on the, uh, the bottom one and then hold shift and click the top one. And that should select all of them. And now you just wanna rotate the text a little bit. Kind of like this, as you see, like I've done here. Let's rotate it a little bit. Kind of like this. And uh, yeah, that is that's pretty much it for the uh, for the three D text. Uh, now it's gonna render it, but you wanna make sure that um, after you render it, you don't wanna close Cinema 4D because we're gonna render it twice, uh, the second time with some uh, some other settings. So yeah, you just wanna render the text, and uh, that will take a while for me because my computer is pretty slow. But you know, you just choose a uh, location and uh, name for the file and then you just click this icon right here or you can click shift and R okay so when your text is rendered you wanna close the picture viewer and go back to your render settings you wanna go to effect and uh, pick cell renderer then you wanna tick this box uh, the, that says edges and you pretty much want to sort of invert these colors so you see that the edge, edge color is black and the background color is white you just want to make the uh, you just want the edge color to be white and the background color to be black instead so you just uh, change these colors real quick and then you want to go back to the save tab because uh, when you render this you must pick another name because we don't want this file to replace the other one uh, so I'm just going to add a 2 to the uh, to the name of the file. But yeah, so the cell render effect, um, I don't know really how to explain it, but I'm just going to render it so you can see for yourself. So as you can see, we'll give this sort of, uh, sort of blueprint effect or whatever it's called. I'm not really sure what to call it. Um, but yeah, now it's lagging a bit for me, but uh, once this text is rendered, uh, you're all done with Cinema 4D, so uh, you can go ahead and open up Photoshop after that. Okay, so when you are done with the rendering, you want to open the text up in Photoshop. And um, you want to make a new layer and put it beneath the, uh, the text layer and grab a dark gray color and we're just gonna fill up the background with that color. So just grab your paint bucket tool. All right. So uh, now what you wanna do is you wanna double click on the text layer to bring up the layer styles. And um, you wanna start off by adding a gradient overlay. Change the blend mode to overlay. And for the opacity, you wanna have around 75. Then you wanna add an inner glow. Color, you want white and size around 20. For the blend mode you want to ha you want to have overlay. Or sorry, not overlay, you want to have uh, soft light. That was better. Okay, so once you've done this, what you want to do is you want to add a drop shadow. And you want to uncheck use global light. And uh, yeah, the angle can be at around 120. You want to bring the opacity all the way up to 100%. And uh, you want to change the spread to 5 and the size to around 35. Then you can click OK. So uh, now I'm going to link it to this texture. It's in the description. Uh, we're going to apply this texture to the text. So just copy this image and paste it in your Photoshop document. And make sure it's located directly above the text layer. And it also has to cover the whole text, so you don't want it to be like this. Because it has to sort of cover the whole text. So, uh, yeah, now what you want to do is you want to hold Alt and click in between the texture and the text. Like that and change the blend mode of the texture to overlay 
you want to bring the opacity down a bit to around 75 and that's pretty good so now what you gotta do is uh, you gotta go to this other text that we made and just copy this real quick and you wanna paste it in this uh, Photoshop document so you wanna make sure that you paste it so it's like on top of the other layers because yeah this one has to be on top and uh, change the blend mode to screen and uh, now we have to sort of uh, you know adjust the position so that it's like perfectly lined up with the text and uh, you might have to resize it so if you have to do that just click like control T and you can just resize it like this but um yeah I don't have to do that so you just wanna line it up with the text like this and decrease the opacity a little bit to around uh, 80 and um, yeah so that is actually pretty much it for this tutorial uh, as you see it looks pretty pretty nice when you overlay this uh, this cell renderer text to the regular text but yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you can see, yeah, it looks pretty much exactly like uh, the, the text in my background. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a like and uh, maybe a comment. And also, I need some new tutorial uh, requests or suggestions. Uh, because I really feel like making some tutorials. Because it feels like not a lot of YouTubers make tutorials these days. But yeah, so uh, yeah, as I said, this is pretty much it for this tutorial, and uh, thanks for watching.